all right guys got back to the hotel changed got my more bigger and puffier jacket since my body's not used to the uh time difference uh, i'm not gonna lie it feels just a tad bit weaker right now especially from the knees um so i'm trying to avoid getting sick and all that stuff because that will ruin the rest of the trip and make things harder but right now we're heading to radio city st john's tower i believe it's called and right now we're going to try to cross the street without getting hit <laughs> but yeah it's about a 20 minute walk walking and get the blood moving wake up a little bit and uh yeah we should have an amazing view and after that we're going to check out all the museums after everything from there should be from walking distance but more than likely i'm going to get an uber on the way back because i'll probably be too tired then Alright guys, so you couldn't see a lot of this during the uh, during the nighttime when I was walking around, but near my hotel is the University of Liverpool, so it was really active at night, a lot of students getting off of school and everything like that walking around, so I'm pretty safe, I guess you could say, being so close to the university because I've seen a lot of, uh, you know, security or whatever like that, so there goes our destination in the background. Radio City Tower. Right now, just continuing to walk through the streets of Liverpool. As my walk continues, this is where I was last night. Looked a little bit more scary, I'm not gonna lie, at night. But they had some lights up and, and things like that. So, right now, guys, we're here in Liverpool Lime Street. Uh, this is Lime Street Station where a lot of the trains is at. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to be traveling to Wrexham. Uh, I got my tickets right now. I'm not gonna lie, my mind is a little confused on the game plan of a lot of that, but you know, we'll figure it out. Um, yesterday, for example, not yesterday, was it Wednesday? Wednesday, Thursday, whenever I got to Dublin, um, I thought they lost my luggage. You know, I'm the type of person to ask a lot of questions and, oh my gosh. And when I asked the question, they told me they were sending my, uh, they were sending my uh, luggage ahead of time uh, to Liverpool. So like the next plane I got on in Dublin, my luggage was on that plane. And so when we finally got to Liverpool, then I was able to finally get my luggage, you know. A lot of times I panic in my head, but in reality, things all just end up working out. So uh, yeah, so tomorrow, get here early. Um, get here early and then, uh, then take the train and hopefully get to Wrexham on time before the game see all the festivities because they start at 9 a.m. really freaking early but it is what it is so right now guys we are on top of the radio city beacon first I said tower but it's beacon that's where I was last night at the little um, market <laughs> all the way right there in the distance is my hotel so I just finished walking all that just to get all the way up here that's so cool and then there goes Anfield over there so like I said guys right now we are on top of the radio city beacon and as you can see this amazing background right behind me we're gonna about to actually head over there to where the Ferris wheel's at, because there's all the museums and all that good stuff. It's so exciting, so beautiful to see. All right, we're back. Got our portable charger, use the restroom, because the clean lady was actually gonna be there. I was looking, gonna take like a nap or something like that. Uh, but no, got the portable charger. Now we're heading to the Albert Docks to check that out. Um, and yeah, 32 minute walk, but it's all good. I mean, at least I'm exercising one way or another. Um, uh, forgot to do my push ups and all that stuff this morning, but you know, I'm on vacation right now. Um, feeling good so far. It heated up a little bit, so I had to change my jackets again. Thought this would be fine because I had my hoodie, but I really didn't want to wear that to be honest. So, yeah, all right. After about 30 or 25 minutes into our walk, we are so close to the Albert Docks. Right over there is the Ferris wheel and then the museum next to it. 
And once I turn this corner here, we'll be able to see the Albert Dogs. Again, I've been walking so much and I've been trying to edit, finish editing the first vlog um, from my phone off of iMovie just so y'all can have it as a reference of what I've been up to. So as I've been doing that and walking, uh, I've been trying not to get hit by cars and get lost because I've taken the wrong turn out how many times. But here we go. The Albert Docks just ahead of us. We just got to get across the streets. My favorite challenge. And as you can see, just kind of like how in the U.S. we have those uh, crossing areas. When the thing goes green, then you're able to cross. All right, we're at the real deal now. Welcome to Royal Albert Dock. Uh, definitely gonna get something to eat here in a minute though. Because we were on the other side of this. But here we go, lines and losses. Here at the Royal Albert Docks. All right, guys, I really had to eat because I, I felt it in my stomach um, before we continue on the journey. Um, so we're here at Pan Am Restaurant and Bar, okay? And then they have here, I saw a side of the menu, they had some British classics somewhere around here. I forgot where the heck it said it was at, but I saw it outside. Oh, so we tried fish and chips yesterday, right? They were pretty good. So we're not gonna try it again today just because, just for the sake of it. So um, they had something called the uh, Scouse Scouse, a Liverpool classic beef stew, potatoes, carrots, gravy, crusty bread, and pickled cabbage. So we're gonna definitely try that. If you, if you go to a country, you gotta try, you know, the authentic food, just like when I'm in El Salvador, you know? All right, guys, so this is the Scouse, carrots, beef, um, potatoes, and then we got our bread here to the side, and then we got our spring water. Let's dig in. You already know. You already know. Yo, what's up, guys? So we just finished an amazing lunch. We had the Scouse, which was, like I said, I think I may have recorded already, like a beef stew. Uh, we also had sticky toffee pudding, which was a nice kind of caramelized cake uh, with ice cream. Uh, here behind me is the Museum of Liverpool. So we're going to check that here in a sec. But before I do that, because I was showing my my parents and my friend Gustavo via FaceTime, we are here by the river. One sec. I always get weird vlogging and saying the wrong stuff, especially around the locals. But here we are. Look at this view, guys. See, if I, if I had a girl, Shout out to my next girl. You know, we're gonna put a lock <laughs> over here on this uh, deal. But yeah, so freaking beautiful. Um, being here in Liverpool and seeing this, just all this is just so freaking wonderful. But we're gonna head into the museum, check out what they got. And uh, yeah, that is next on our agenda. So we've been knocking out things left and right. Ah, oh, man. Well, there goes the museum, guys. I can't go inside because unfortunately I did not check the time. I knew in my mind that I had to hurry up and leave the restaurant, but the museum closes at four, so we're not going to be able to have a chance to uh, to check it out today. More likely tomorrow after we come back from Wrexham. Uh, so, yeah. The Museum of Liverpool. Oh, you always say something you can feel this disease come together guys so um right here behind me is um hold on I'm trying to get it in view of the clip so right over there everyone's taking pictures with the uh, statue of the beatles um and obviously usually around here they usually got playing live music um i believe more likely playing beatles music uh, but yeah they got the statues over there just took my picture right there um and yeah just continue to just admire the area of the dock 
it is getting pretty chilly over here um and just exploring you know just seeing all just all that liverpool has to offer really getting a good uh a glimpse of everything and all that good stuff all right what's up guys so um still over here by the marseille river if i'm saying that correct uh funny thing i've learned there's a lot of different words i mean the same thing whenever you you're in uh like for us hispanics like you know salvadorians have their own words mexicans have their own words etc etc so over here i said it properly um i had to go to the restroom right so i asked the uh i asked my waitress i was like hey where's the toilet and then she's like oh over there and then as i'm going there's a big sign that says toilet <laughs> so uh yeah uh that has been the uh oh there goes the clock but yeah just a little funny stuff that's been uh interesting to hear and all that good stuff all right guys so per my map per the hotel map that they gave me we right behind us is hold on hold this backwards the western approaches or if not it is liverpool town hall but we're about to go up the steps here in a second and just uh go check it out oh here we go Welcome to Our Lady and St. Nicholas Church Garden. Let's go see what this is about. <sighs> oh, gosh. So, a little garden slash park. I don't think it doesn't look like a lot of flowers, but nice area to sit down and uh, and appreciate the night the nightlife oh, all right guys so we are leaving the albert docks just left the gift shop um i was gonna kind of peep what i was buying and for who i was buying but i thought i'd leave that as a surprise as to the much of my capability as possible uh right now we're going to see where we go next? The docks are obviously a little dark and a little sketch, you know, of all the UK movies. Someone by the water gets shot, stabbed, I don't know. Um, but we're gonna see what we do next here in Liverpool. Um, yeah, just trying to figure that out. Might just cut this off the clip. All right, so the game plan was to go over there where the uh, Ferris wheel is at. So we're gonna head that way. MS Bank Arena. I wonder what's over there. Like I said, guys, this is a lot of this is my first time. So, like, when I see something, I'm gonna go try it. <laughs> but also, like, something uh, within my time thing. So, the big wheel, MS Arena, ACC Liverpool. Okay. Let's see what we got going on. Ugh. Trying to multitask good and make sure I record because there's moments where something interesting happens and I may have forgotten, but don't think so within this. All right, guys, so we are in the big wheel, for me, the Ferris wheel. Um, he said 10 minutes and it was funny. So he said this red button, he's like, hit it in, uh, in case of emergencies. And I told him, I was like, you want me to hit it now? <laughs> oh man, I'll make myself crack up. But we're gonna about to see the view here in a sec. <sighs> Damn, I need to low-key clean this, uh, this glass. Can't see none open for emergency ventilation only. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Check that view out. I'm scared. <sighs> To move around too hard in here. So yeah, there goes the Albert Docks that I was just at. Radio City Tower is just over there. And then my hotel is like all the way over there in the distance. The other side over there, I don't think I've been yet. Right down below is like the American Airlines like um, for like concerts and stuff. So MS uh m s bank arena that's what it's for um and yeah just admiring 
the amazing views of Liverpool. What's up guys? I don't even know if you can hear me, but right now we're here in an Irish pub. My music right behind me. What's up guys, so we did not get anything to eat at the Irish pub because obviously it was just a pub and everything like that so we're getting some chicken shawarma here right now I uh, forgot the name of the place but we'll check it here in a sec Yo, what is up guys? Uh, shout out to Gustavo who stayed on FaceTime with me during my whole walk back but we got a coke, we got our chicken shawarma and we're going back to the room, but just here in a sec, I gotta go back down because I gotta get a refund because I'm not eating breakfast tomorrow because guess what? I'm going to Wrexham tomorrow. And we're gonna go up to town tomorrow in Wells. Um, so yeah, we gotta save just a little bit of money. We're gonna be smart with the money. We can't just spend it just like crazy because we gotta spend it on some Wrexham merch tomorrow. What's up guys? So I'm gonna end the vlog here because tomorrow we're gonna go see Wrexham up to town. Um, we gotta wake up so freaking early. We gotta wake up like at probably like five, take a shower, take a shower or like six, um, and then head to the train station and take the train all the way to Wrexham because Wrexham play at like nine in the morning. So, uh, well, actually, I gotta double check that's nine in the morning my time. Let's double check on that. But either way, guys, see you on the next one. Thank you guys for those who are watching these videos and so checking out my adventure. I appreciate it so freaking much. Um, See you guys on the next adventure in the next episode.